Hello friends. Today we're gonna to be making some ranch chicken and this is one of the easiest recipes you will ever make. I got this recipe from a lady in our church and it just takes three ingredients. Your chicken breast, some Italian breadcrumbs, and some ranch. Now I am going to add an additional ingredient, some Parmesan cheese. So let's get started. First thing I do is I have some pretty large breast here and I'm going to trim it up really well and then I'm going to cut it long ways so it'll be thinner and I'll be right back. I put the chicken in a Ziploc baggie. I've got them in the four, um, it was two big breasts, now it's in four. And then I'm just gonna take my mallet and I'm going to uh, just tenderize them just a little bit and make them spread out just a little bit, not a lot. And uh, not, not much at all. This is how the restaurants get your big old chicken sandwiches and they beat it thin. Okay, we'll do the other side and we'll be right back. Okay, so we tenderized our chicken and now we're just going to pour some of our Italian breadcrumbs. If you wanna use plain, that's fine. I like to use Italian and then you don't really have to add any seasoning. And, um, and I probably um, do about half and half, okay? Equal, equal amounts on that. All right. Give it a good stir. If you want to add pepper, you can. I remember when I had this over at her house one day. It was so good. And then when she told me how easy it was, I was just really surprised. Okay, so we got that stirred up. And you are not going to believe how easy this is. So I'm going to spray my casserole pan. Take my chicken out. And we're going to put ranch. And I like to use, I like to use Hidden Valley. That's just me. Okay, so I got my chicken here. To give you a good squirt of ranch on there. Just rub it around in each side. I do one side, lay it in there. Do the other side. And then I'm just going to bread it, okay? Super, super easy. Nothing hard. I love recipes like this. And uh, they're quick, they're easy, and you know me, I love easy ones. Okay, so we're just gonna lay it in there after we get it breaded, just like that. You know, easy? Okay, we'll do another one. Then we're gonna bake these until the chicken is done. And I'm pretty generous with my ranch. That just makes it stick better. Just like, just like that. And I'm gonna make some vegetables to go with it. Probably some green beans and some corn. We're going easy tonight. So. If you need more of your breading stuff, just throw you some more in the bowl. Sometimes I feel like it kind of falls off the top, so I like to just kind of pat some more on. I'm gonna get these other two breaded and I'll be right back. Okay, I got all four of them breaded. And you know you've been doing something right when your hands look like this, right? I have a little bit of excess left and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it on the top. It'll just give it a little bit of, a little bit more crunch. You can use the panko um, breadcrumbs if you want. I just prefer to use these. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven 
And I like to cook it a little, I don't like to cook it on high. I like to cook it about 350 and we'll put it in there. I would say probably be about 35 uh, minutes. Kind of depending on your oven. But we'll come back and we'll check it. Okay, into the oven with no cover. Okay, it's ready. Let me show you what it looks like. And there it is. I'm gonna get some in a plate and give it a taste test. Okay, I'm only gonna let Chris test a little bit because we wanna save it for dinner. But I'll let him taste a little corner. He already knows it's good. Do you have a fork? We've got to let y'all know how good it is. You want a piece of crust? <clears throat> Might be popping hot. It's popping hot in it. Let me try a little bit of that crust. Mmm. I love it. Is these free range chickens? From Walmart. I don't know. Okay. This is the simplest recipe, y'all, and it is delicious. It has a good ranch taste, but it's got that crunch of those breadcrumbs and just the right amount of seasoning. So, hope you try it. And if you do, let us know. Come back and let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. So, we ready? Thank you, Lord, for this day, for all you've done for us, for giving us this food to eat. Bless it to our bodies. Help us to uh, be thankful for it. In your name we ask. Amen. Amen. Yeah.